Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the full pitch winding as well as short pitch winding. So in that, we already completed full pitch winding, the resultant EMF due to the due to the two slots EMF. Next, we will enter into the short pitch winding. So generally, if you look at the short pitch winding, in the short pitch winding, two, sl uh, two slots are available like this. this is in the first slot and another one is the sixth slots. So if you consider these two slots, the EMFs are arranged like this. That is E1 is generated E and E2 is E6 is generated E. Here, if you observe this, this is in the resultant EMF is in the vector form. So, so this is a vector form. That's why we can write the angle between these two. We can call it as the alpha. We can call it as the alpha. So, So the resultant EMF ER equal like this ER equal whenever vector sum is available that is E1 square plus E2 square sorry E6 square we can name it as E6 square plus but if you look at here both voltage generated in this slot is E and in this slot also magnitude E so that's why E square plus A square and 2 into E into E into cos alpha right okay so we can write this is the 2e square plus again this 2e square cos alpha so if you common the if you common the 2e square in the both the cases 2e square and the fact is this is the one and this is the cos alpha okay so we can write cos alpha by using the mathematical expression cos theta like this so we can extend like this that is 2e square again 1 plus 2 cos square alpha by 2 min minus 1 why we are doing this to remove this one then removing the one the Removing the under root is very easy, right? So both ones are cancelled. Finally, we will get 20 to 4, 20 to 4, and again this is the e square and cos square alpha by 2. So the resultant EMF is 4 is become the 2 here, and this is the e and cos alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 so the finally the resultant emf due to the short pitch winding is like this that is 2 into e into cos alpha by 2 okay right so if you observe here the arithmetic sum is 2e but here the short winding sum that means vector sum the short winding here right it is the vector sum e that is 2e cos alpha by 2 just observe these two cases here cos alpha 2 is available that's why the magnitude will be decreased so we can write like this that is here vector sum is less than the arithmetic sum arithmetic sum this is very important point that means the e vector sum means the emf generated in the short pitch winding is less than the, the emf generated in the full pitch winding full pitch winding okay next we can define the another factor that is the coil pitch factor or coil span factor or shorting factor kp coil pitch factor or coil span factor or shorting factor so how can we define it kp kp value equal emf induced per coil when winding is short pitch that means winding is short means pitch means this is the case this is the case of emf right next 
again divided by emf induced per coil when the winding is full pitch here the winding is full pitch means in this case that means the resultant emf is 2e so again we can define like this that is the vector sum of induced emf per coil the arithmetic sum of induced emf per coil so we can define like this also the vector sum induced emf per coil by arithmetic sum em coil okay so finally how we can get it we can get like this the vector sum vector sum means 2e cos alpha by 2 okay and the arithmetic sum is 2e both will be cancelled so finally we will get the fundamental fitch factor kp equal cos alpha by 2 so we will get one factor that is the kp fitch factor that is cos alpha by 2 so this is for only fundamental this is for only fundamental that means the one if the fitch factor for the nth harmonic so this is the first harmonic means you will get one here if it is for nth harmonic how we will get here the nth harmonic we can write n value here kp n then cos n alpha by 2 so first this is the cos alpha by 2 for nth harmonic this is the cos n alpha by 2 right so this is about the coil pitch factor coil pitch factor next generally the emf is defined the complete emf formula is like this it is in case of alternator alternator or synchronous generator both are same what is the emf formula emf equal 4.44 kp kd phi f into t phi f into t here kp is pitch factor and kd is distribution factor so it will come in distribution winding distribution factor so it is for fundamental only if it is for nth harmonic if we are using for the nth harmonic en equal 4.44 into kp kp n 1 become n kd n 5 into f into t 5 into f into t if kpn value for example i want to remove this fitch factor zero so no not not fitch factor if nth harmonic emf induced i want to remove this why we why have to remove i want to remove the harmonic our intention is to remove the harmonic so that's why i want to make it en equal to zero so here kd is the distribution factor then i want to remove this harmonic uh, harmonic emf so that's why so by making the so nth, nth fitch factor is zero that is kpn value is the zero then the emf induced completely will become the zero so you know kpn formula cos n alpha by 2 so i want to make it it is a zero okay and cos n alpha by 2 generally it is a cos 90 you know uh, cos 90 is nothing but the zero so both are cos n alpha by 2 value is 90 degrees so n alpha by 2 equal 90 degrees then n alpha equal to 180 degrees so finally we can make it alpha equal to 180 by n what is this make what is this meaning of 180 by n Uh, what can you call it as the slot angle so here we can call it as the angle required to the short angle required to in eliminate the nth harmonic we can call it as short pitch angle short pitch angle to eliminate the to eliminate the nth harmonic eliminate the nth harmonic so this much of short angle is required this much of short angle is required for example 
we want to remove fifth harmonic so we want to remove the fifth harmonic how much of short angle is required the short angle alpha equal 180 by 5 so 180 by 5 equal we can write it as the 36 degrees so by using the 36 degrees short short the angle then we can remove the the harmonics due to the the emf due to the fifth harmonic simply the fifth harmonic we can remove it next and we can remove the sixth harmonic and right so so finally short pitch angle to eliminate the nth harmonic the formula is this is the formula for that from this how we can write the coils point value coils point value beta equal 180 minus alpha simply 180 minus alpha because the full pitch means alpha plus beta should be 180 degrees only okay this is the short angle and this is the coil span should be both will be combined to 180 degrees so here the beta equal 180 into simply 180 minus alpha here 180 by 180 by n 180 by n then the common the 180 you will get you will get so we can write if you common the 180 1 minus 1 by n 180 into n minus 1 by n the finally the coil span beta value equal to 180 into n minus 1 by n n minus 1 by n okay so to remove the to eliminate the nth harmonic the short pitch angle value formula equal to the short angle value equal to 180 by n in second case the coil span value is 180 into n minus 1 by n if it is same principle fifth harmonic alpha is we already done that is the 36 degrees and beta equal to 180 minus 36 degrees so we will get the 154 degrees the coil span value is the 154 degrees and if it is for seventh harmonic alpha equal to 180 by 7 25.7 and beta equal to 180 minus 25.7 then we will get 150 154.3 degrees removing this so i want to remove combination of both fifth harmonic as well as seventh harmonic then we can write the short pitch angle is 36 plus 25 by 7 by doing the average then we will get alpha equal to 30 degrees simply so in order to remove the combination of fifth harmonic and seventh harmonic uh, we, are, we will use 30 degrees angle okay right then beta is always is 150 degrees that is the coil span okay right i hope all of you understand the session thank you